Hey, this is Mr. Buffington, and today I'm going to be looking at working with negative numbers when we're adding or subtracting. This gives a lot of people some trouble about, I don't know, what exactly to do. So I just wanted to give a quick video just to show what we do when we get a negative number. Again, we're, this is when we're adding and subtracting. So a negative number means that you're taking away that amount. Basically, it's the same as subtraction. And on a number line, it would look like this. Any place on the left of the 0 over here would be a negative number. Or if you start up here and you move in the negative direction, you would be moving to the left. So this is basically what a negative number means. It's a number. It means that you're taking something away. It's the same as subtraction. And on the number line, it would be moving to the left, or a negative number is on the left side of 0. Now, what does it mean when you add a negative number? Sometimes you'll see a question like this, 2 plus negative 1. This means the same thing as 2 minus 1. All right? Adding doesn't necessarily mean making things larger. It means kind of joining together. And so we're joining together 2 with a negative 1. Or in other words, we are subtracting 1. So if we're going to simplify, and I like to make math simple as much as I can, every time you see plus negative, I want you to change it into being negative, just or minus, 2 minus 1. So every time we see this plus negative something, just change it into being 2 minus 1. It'll make your life a lot easier. Because then you can just do 2 minus 1 equals 1. And that's a little bit more simple. Let's do one another question. Here we have 15 plus negative 6. To simplify, what we would write is 15 minus 6. And 15 minus 6 is 9. So that's the way that we would simplify. That is when we are adding a negative number. And that's it, basically. When you're adding a negative number, same thing as subtracting. How about when you are subtracting a negative number? This one here gives people a lot of trouble. I like to think of it, instead of thinking of minus negative, I like to thinking, think of it as taking away a negative. For example, here's an example that I like to use. If I have negative $200 in the bank and I take that away, I'm going to have more money, right? If I have a negative $200 bank account balance, I take that away. Now I actually have more money. So in other words, when you are subtracting a negative number, it really means that you're adding. I hope that, that that example helps to clarify a little bit. If not, just remember this. If you're subtracting a negative number, it really means that you are adding. So if you have something like this, 15 minus negative 2, we're just going to change that into addition. 15 plus 2. And 15 plus 2 is equal to 17. Um, a friend of mine likes to take this negative on the inside and kind of fly it over the top and pound it through to make it into a plus sign. And if that helps you to remember, great. That's what we're doing. 15 minus negative is the same thing as 15 plus. So that's it. It really is a lot easier to say 15 plus 2 than 15 minus negative 2. Let's look at another question like that. 20 minus negative 40. In other words, 20 plus 40, and 20 plus 40 is 60. That's all we're doing. When you're subtracting a negative number, that's all you need to do. So when you see this minus negative, change it into a positive. Remember, we're trying to simplify and make it more understandable. All right. Now we're going to do one question where we put everything all together. Mm, this is exciting. So here we have 16 plus negative 2 minus negative 6 plus 12. If we remember to simplify this question, then the first step that we will do is to rewrite the question with a lot less, basically getting rid of our parentheses. So instead of saying plus minus 2, we'll just say minus 2. 
instead of saying minus negative 6, we'll say plus 6. You see, we've rewritten everything, so it's a lot more simple. This by itself looks crazy complicated, and that's just not what we're looking for. So let's simplify and make it a lot easier. And now we're just going to solve. Starting from the left to the right, doing all of our addition and subtraction in one step. We'll do 16 minus 2 is 14. 14 plus 6 is 20. And 20 plus 12 is 32. So that would be how we solve this problem, using the order of operations. Remember, we do order of operations left to right in the order that they appear. Um, addition, subtraction, I'm sorry, in the order that they appear from left to right. All right. Now let's do one more question. And this one here is going to bring out um, some of those frustrating feelings and anger that we <laughs> get when we look at a, a silly math question that really doesn't have a lot of application, but it's important that we understand. And if we do understand these rules for adding and subtracting, this question is pretty straightforward. All right, 2 minus negative y plus negative x plus 16 minus x. And we're going to solve using x is negative 2 and y is positive 3. The first step when you get a question like this is to substitute the values into the equation. So we're going to substitute in negative 2 everywhere you see x. So you see negative x would be negative negative 2. And then x would be negative 2. Where you see y, you're going to substitute in 3. So this is negative y, so it would be negative 3. This here is, is a silly situation that in plus or minus negative 2 inside of parentheses. But we're going to go ahead and solve it. Remember, we're trying to simplify. So in our first step, we're going to simplify this minus negative 3 is positive 3. We're going to simplify inside of the parentheses to being, instead of minus negative 2, that would become plus 2. And then we have another minus negative that will become a positive. All right, so in this case, we have three minus negatives that have all become positive. Now, this situation where you have plus positive, that remains positive. So our final simplified question is 2 plus 3 plus 2 plus 16 plus another 2. And we're just going to go ahead and solve that. Again, moving from left to right, doing addition and subtraction in the order that they appear. We'll do 2 plus 3 is 5. Then 5 plus 2 is 7. 7 plus 16 is 23. And 23 plus 2 is, oh man, I've run out of space. I'm just going to have to write it real big in the middle of everything. Um, 23 plus 2 is 25. So that is uh, an example of a question that incorporates substitution and addition and subtraction of positive and negative numbers. I hope that this session has been helpful for you. And remember to practice. This type of thing, it may seem easy when I lay it out step by step, all pre-prepared and all of that. But to make it easy for yourself, it really takes practice. So pull out the textbooks and do some sample questions. This will get easier with practice. Good luck and have a wonderful day.